Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you another Saint Valentine's project. It's really easy to make, I'm using only 11 and 8 beads in two colors. Don't worry that the, this thread shows here, just use monofilament if you don't want this effect, but here for tutorial purposes I'm using Fireline and that's why here the thread is visible at the red part of my work. Okay, so don't write me in the comments about this. I know uh, that the thread shows here. Okay, so if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. If you want to see a matching bracelet to this work, you could check it here and you could check my Saint Valentine's tutorials also here at the icon. And now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors, golden and red, and I use two sizes of beads. 11 seed beads and 8 beads and 11 8 Here I use ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. This is fire line that is 0.17 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and you could use pliers. Uh, they are not obligatory but if you need to go through the difficult beads you could use them. Okay, so now I'm going to take about 16 inches of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have 16 inches of thread on my needle, which will be for my first heart. And I want to take four of these beautiful Ato golden beads. Okay, I have them here. I'll slide them down, stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop, going twice through the loop I've made, pulling. And then I'm making one more knot and pull again, just like this. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going through the following golden bead. Okay. Then what I do is take one golden, go through the following, one more golden, go through the following, one. So I'm surrounding my cross of four beads made of eight o's with eleven o's. Okay, and I'm going to take three goldens and I'm going back through this to one of my four goldens that I formed my initial cross, okay, or you could call it right angle weave. Now, what I do is that I want to reach the next ato of my cross. Here I take three more etos and when I go back through this eto here again I have a cross of four one two three four one is already there and I'm adding three more okay then I'm going through the following eto just like this and I want to take three goldens and I'm going back through this golden here okay now I have a central cr cross with three crosses around it and I will continue my work by adding two more crosses of four okay here again I take three etos I go back through this eto just like this 
then I go through those beads in circle because guys my goal is to reach this cross here okay I'm reaching this cross and it's easier for me now to flip my work okay now I'm going here through this cross exiting out of this bead and I'm taking three atos okay like this and I'm going back in circle through this ato okay now I almost have my heart ready but I need to shape it a little bit okay and I will make it look like a heart by adding 11 o's okay here i have one 11 o i'm going through the following a2 one more 11 o go through the following take one more go here through my following 11 o and I'm following the contour of my work but now at this step guys here I won't add new 11 no I just go through this one okay you see here I'm skipping the 11 0 and here I have one 11 0 I go through these two goldens in this direction okay it's easier for me to flip you don't need to flip if you don't want to, okay? Here I'm also skipping without adding 11 O's. I need here one 11 O and go through two 8 O's without adding an 11 O like I did at the other side of my heart. Then one more 11 O, okay? Go here then one more here also one and here at the center i will add my last two 11 o's okay this one here like this and this one here okay and I pull and I have my first heart ready okay now guys I need to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm doing it by choosing a place making here a loop at this place and going once then going second time through this loop okay pulling then go through the following seed bead pull and my knot will hide here okay now i'm cutting my thread as close as possible to my work and i'm also cutting my tail thread okay guys now i will make two more of these hearts one in red and one in golden and I'll be back to show you how to assemble them okay guys and I did two more hearts the same way I showed you and now it's time to show you how to assemble this in an earring and attach the clasp okay I still have 16 inches of thread on my needle the same thread okay and I will take my first heart here and I will go here through one of the beads i want to attach this new thread to my work if you don't know how to add new thread this is the way okay i'm making here a loop going once going second time pulling and i could do several more knots but now 
I will continue with my work. I won't be showing you this, okay? Now I will take my second heart and what I do is that I want to connect this 8 0 bit to this one here at the edge, okay? And as I'm exiting from this golden bit here, this golden 8 0 I will go through this red ato, okay, just like this. Okay, now I have this, and I will go back through this golden. And I want to reach here the center, the central golden. Okay, you see these two are connected with thread, okay. Then in my next step, I will go through this red one here. Okay, just like this. Pull and go again through this golden in the middle. And I'm connecting this middle golden and red the same way I showed you before. And I pull. Okay, then I go through the next 11 0 and next 8 0, just like this. Okay, and I go through this red one here. Okay, then I go back through this 11 0 and I pull. Okay. And now, guys, I have my two elements connected, okay? Here you might say that the thread shows too much, but if you don't want so much thread to show, you could use monofilament here for tutorial purposes. I'm using this fire line, okay? Now, what I do is that I go here At this side of my work and I want to connect my next element this one okay and I will connect it the same way I showed you here and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I just connected my last heart here and uh, don't worry about this thread showing just use monofilament if you don't like this effect Okay, so now I'm going here through some beads in this direction. Okay, and here. Okay, now I'm, now I'm exiting out of this 11 0. And what I want to do is attach my ear wire. And I'm going to do this by taking three of these beautiful red beads then I'm taking my ear wire and I'm taking three more of these beautiful 11 o's okay then I will go back through this 8 o here okay and when I pull I have this now I will go around in circle through my beads because I want to reinforce my work. By the way, you could make only this type of earrings with one heart without adding the others. If you don't like the longer earring, okay? And now I will go one more time through those red beads here to reinforce it. Okay, and then I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. I will do this, let's say here. Okay, here. Make a loop, go once, go second time, pull. 
go through the following beats, pull again, stick my needle in my mat and cut my thread, cut my tail thread and now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my St. Valentine's heart earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for present or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, Please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donation to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.